friends, welcome to this week's Sunday School lesson. I hope you're having a fantastic week and you're enjoying your last few weeks before school starts again. I know, I know, I don't wanna go back to school either, but there are a lot of new things for us to learn this year and so there's a lot to look forward to. Speaking of school, are there any things in school that you really have difficulty understanding? For me, it used to be math, especially in high school. I couldn't get my head around some of the ideas or equations or the way things worked and I really, really struggled. And I really tried my best to kind of figure it out on my own. And it was really hard for me to ask for help because I really wanted to understand it on my own. And maybe you felt the same way too. And this is not just for school, this could be for anything. Maybe you're learning a new skill or learning how to play a new instrument or maybe you're learning a new position on a sports team and you wanna do your absolute best to get it right the first time. Sometimes we succeed at that. Sometimes we do it exactly how it should be the first time. And other times, maybe we struggle a lot. Maybe we don't exactly play the chord correctly or we don't get a concept right away. As much as we want to do it on our own, getting help and asking for support can be so helpful for us to learn and understand. And this is the same thing spiritually. When we go through life, sometimes things are super easy and we can handle it on our own. And other times we face situations that are really, really difficult, that we don't understand, that we don't know what's coming next. And so we need to ask God for help and for his guidance and for his wisdom. I wanna to talk to you guys really quick about this guy named Paul. And maybe you've heard of him. And he's kind of a big deal in the Bible, especially in the New Testament. He's so important that he wrote one third of the New Testament. Paul wrote letters to his friends and to the churches that he started in order to give them wisdom and understanding as to how to be better people to serve God. Part I'm going to tell you about comes from 2 Corinthians 10, verses 7 to 10. I know this is embarrassing, it's very unprofessional, but no, no, please, I need this job. I... Hello, and uh, welcome to today's news report. I am future Elizabeth, here to bring you the news. Today, we are here to report that past Elizabeth made a mistake. I know, I know that's, that's very hard to believe, but she informed you that today's scripture verse came from 2 Corinthians 10. Well, I'm here to report to you that it does not come from chapter 10, but rather chapter 12. So today's scripture verse comes from 2 Corinthians 12, verses 7 to 10. Again, we sincerely apologize for the false information, and we hope to do better in the future. Back to you, Pastor Elizabeth. Paul was telling the Church of Corinth about a sickness that he had, and it doesn't say in the scriptures what it was or what it could have been, but all we know is that he had something. He was really struggling with it because he wasn't able to do the things God had called him to do. And he prayed and asked God that he would take away this thing that was keeping him from doing what he was called to do. Paul kept asking and asking and asking. And in verse eight, this is what God says to Paul. My grace is enough for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. Wait a minute. How can God's power be made perfect in our weakness? Whenever we're in times of difficulty, sometimes all we wanna do is just do it on our own, do it in our own strength. But sometimes life gets so difficult that we realize that we need someone stronger, someone more wise, and someone that can guide us through the situations. And who else should we call on but the one who created us? who created the world, who knows everything, who is wise and will give us strength through those situations. And friends, that's God. We serve a God that will go through those situations with us. He's promised that he'll never leave us nor forsake us, that he'll protect us, that he knows everything that we're going to go through and promises to walk beside us through it all. And so when we face situations that we don't know what's coming next, that we don't know what our next steps are, that Maybe it's scary. Maybe we know exactly what's coming up next and we're not sure how to approach it. We are blessed to know a God that will come beside us, who will walk with us, who will lead us through every step of our lives. And while it shouldn't take a really difficult situation for us to realize that we need God every single day of our lives, sometimes that's what it takes. Sometimes it's those tough situations that we realize that, hey, I need to call on God right now. Maybe you're going through a situation like that right now. Maybe you're going into a situation where you're not sure what's coming next. Maybe you're worried about the next school year like me, or 
not sure about a sports team that you're trying out for, or maybe there's a big event coming up and you're very nervous about it. Or maybe right now you're going through a fantastic time. You're just feeling great and praise God for that. Whatever situation you're in, I just pray that God would go with you, that you would know that God is going with you, that he is strengthening you when you call upon his name. And so right now, friends, I just wanna pray. I wanna pray that we will have the strength to ask God for his strength in all situations. Heavenly Father, I wanna thank you for your strength that you've offered for us, that you've promised that you would give us if we just ask. And Lord, I just pray that whatever situations that we may face in the coming days, in the coming year, that Lord, you would be with us, that you would strengthen us, and that Lord, we would know your presence is with us at all times. Lord, thank you for my friends on the other side of the screen and keep them safe throughout the rest of the summer. I pray all these things in your name, amen. Thank you, friends. Have a fantastic week. Know you are so loved and you are strengthened by the Lord.